today I am back to share with you two garments that I have made recently. Well, actually that's not true. I'm used to saying that, but no, one of them I made a long time ago and one of them, the other one I have made recently. So the first one that I am going to be talking about is McCall 7920. I made the long version of this dress, which is view D. I made it in a maroon slash burgundy slash wine kind of color and the fabric is a linen or a linen type of fabric and I purchased the fabric from Joanne Fabrics. Some of the features this pattern or this view does have eight buttons in the front of the dress. There are also eight darts. So there are two in the front half of the top of the dress, two in the back. There are also the same in the front. There are two in the front skirt area and two in the back skirt area. So there's a total of eight. This pattern is rated as easy. And the only change that I made was I did a narrow hem around the sleeve instead of the recommended hem that was in the pattern. All right, so the next pattern that I have made is Butterick 6351. This is an older pattern. I made the jumpsuit, which is view D. I made it in black out of a stretch cotton that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Now this pattern does have a lot of features. There are darts in the bodice. There are pleats in the front half of the pants of the jumpsuit. The bodice is also lined. There are buttons. So the pattern calls for two buttons in the back of the bodice. When I was pulling this jumpsuit out to get ready to put it on to record, I realized that I only put one button at the top of the back when the pattern calls for two, one on each side of the upper back area. Now I made this pattern in July of 2018 and it was before I had a YouTube channel and I don't know for the life of me why I only put one button. But when I realized there was one button, I just went in and I just added a snap. This was just yesterday, I think. I added a snap at the top and I also added another button at the bottom. So I did do the other button at the bottom. I did do that at the time that I made it. So I only put one at the top, one at the bottom as an additional button, but I never put the other one on the upper left hand side. Yes, I get my left and right mixed up, but that's right upper left so yes I did have to go back in and and add that button now let's see the only other change that I made was the elastic there's elastic in the back there's like a little band and it called for one no I called for three fourths of an inch of an elastic and I just used one inch instead also I made a note so usually every garment that I make I have a notebook and I'll write down anything that I think is important and so I noticed my notes said that I had trouble putting in the elastic in the back and that was all it said it just said that something about the pattern confused me and I didn't even say what it was I said this pattern confused me I had trouble putting in the elastic in the back and that was it so I don't know what it was or what happened but I ended up putting in the elastic the best way that I could figure out to do it I don't think it's in there right but it's in there and so you'll see what this garment looks like in the back and also in the front and I'll go ahead and show that to you right now
So before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So have you ever been watching the news or listening to the news and it just seemed like all the stories were sad or depressing or they just didn't make you feel very happy after hearing them? Well, I recently learned about the GNN.org website and what that is, is the Good News Network. They have a podcast and they also have an app. And what it is, is an American online newspaper which publishes positive and uplifting news stories. Isn't that wonderful? I went to the website and I spent some time there browsing and it was just so nice that all the stories were just inspiring and, and really good to read. All right, so that's it. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.